guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for another play with um, my sewing machine and I have been making these little clustery pieces. Now I did try and do this video several months ago, I have to say, but it was a bit of a disaster because I didn't have my new camera set up. And so, well, well, you couldn't really see anything to be fair. Um, so I've never actually uploaded that. So I'm here for a sort of second try and hopefully it's going to be a bit more successful. Um, but I just love how these things look. They just, I mean, they remind me slightly of um, the types of things that Sagita makes. Um, I don't know whether Sagita would agree. So I do apologize, Sagita, if you happen to stumble across this video and um, you do not think these resemble your stuff at all. Um, but that, you know, that was kind of the look that I thought that they, you know, brought to mind for me. So all I'm going to do, I've got a whole bunch of stuff beside me and we're just going to sort of get layering and get sewing. So they're very much like the strips that we have done recently, um, but this time they're just in a sort of more cluster arrangement. So let's get going. So I have this paper here. I'm just going to tear it down. And you know, I mean, these can be any sort of size, shape and what have you. Just, you know, just go into your sort of satisfied with how they look basically. Let me just pull my carrier bag over so that it's slightly closer so that I can throw things away slightly easier. Um, okay, so I've got obviously some book page here, so I'm going to just tear a little section of that off. And I think I have that there. And then I've got all sorts of little bits and pieces here that I've just sort of brought along, fussy cut out and brought along just to, you know, have a few things to use. So, and I've also got some of those adverts as well. So let's just have a look and see what we might like on here. So I don't know whether I want... Oh, I can't decide now. Maybe that's quite nice, actually. Okay, so I quite like that. So looking at that, I'm going to just tear off the other side of that to make it slightly smaller and then just pop that there. And then what I've done is I've tended to layer these either with some lace, maybe a flower, things like that. So again, I've got all those flowers, you know, the Hawaiian flowers that I have dyed. So maybe we could incorporate one of those, maybe not that one, hold on. And this is where I find that I haven't really got any that are going to quite complement this colours this one might be actually that's quite large but maybe it's going to be okay so I'm going to I think tuck that coming out oops coming out behind here that's quite nice isn't it oops like oh <laughs> like that I think so let me just go in slightly more I think and bring that down right and then I'm just going to use a straight stitch and kind of put just a straight stitch across there. So, I like that. I'm using black thread, just like I did with the, um, you know, the strips that we did. And what I'm going to do is just go up and down twice because I quite like the impact of having a sort of double line. Um, you know, I'm not stitching the line together necessarily, if you see what I mean. I quite like the look when it's slightly apart. I hope this is all making sense. Slightly apart. Okay, and then I can pop that down. And then what we could do is obviously finish that off with maybe like a butterfly or something like that. So I've got this butterfly here. I should have obviously taken all these little pieces out of it first, but I wonder if I can be super quick and just do this now. Let's just try. I might not take all of the bits out, depends how quick I can be. You know, it doesn't really matter if it's got some, some pieces left in, I guess. So, okay. I apologize if you can hear the rain a bit. I'm obviously, I'm in my kitchen and we've got a, um, you know, skylight thing window. So you can probably hear the rain coming through. So, I mean, that butterfly is quite big on there to be fair, but 
I do quite like it, I think. Mm, maybe not. Maybe that's not the right one. Hold on. Now, I'm sure that I bought some other butterflies along. Where did I put those? Ah. I've got so much stuff here beside me because, um, you know, I always think, oh, bring along everything because you don't know what you're going to need. But then the only downside of that, obviously, is you've got everything sat there. Right, I have got a lot of butterflies and flowers and things that I bought along. I knew I had, but I just couldn't quite remember what I'd done with them. So, right, let's have a look through. Oh, maybe that butterfly might be quite nice. I mean, again, it's quite large on there. Got some of my smaller ones. Ah, there we go. And I knew there would be the perfect one in there somewhere, so it was just a case of, of finding it. I wonder if we should have a number as well. Oh, that's maybe getting a bit cluttery. So all I'm going to do now is hold the butterfly there and I'm just going to go straight through and again, try and sort of double that line up. So I'm gonna go forward and then back, straight through like that, holding that butterfly in place just with that straight stitch. So let me again, cut that down. Aren't they just gorgeous? I really do like the appearance of these. So that's that one. And then of course, you know, you could then glue this all down, all these layers, so they're just held together slightly better. So let's just make a few of these and um, have a bit of a play around. So what other paper have I got beside me? I honestly, I've bought along so much stuff and I don't know how much stuff I thought I was actually going to be using, you know, in the course of a video, to be honest, but. Let's have a look. Oh, what have I got here? I have actually, I've got some napkin as well. So we could use some of this as some of the background as well for, um, for one. So I'll just tear that down. Now, what should we have with that? I've got those vintage adverts. All oh, that looks good, doesn't it? So we could have that. And then what have I done with my book page? So I'll just bring the book page over. Oops. And you could have a bit of book page poking out here. Like that. I mean, it's quite a large advert, I have to say. Um, you know, possibly would be better with a slightly smaller one, but let's see if we can See if we can go for this one. So let's just have a look. What flowers have I got? So this is just my little sort of, you know, packet that I just like to take around so as I've got things to choose from, really. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, I mean, sometimes I just think, gosh, you can have so many things, but still can't find the right thing. What is that about? How can that possibly be? Aha, I've got this lovely pink flower. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm going to, I think, stitch that straight away. Actually, I'm going to go down here first. So just going to, again, go straight down the side here with that straight stitch. like that and that's what's securing it all to the paper like that okay take that out like that and then with my flower and the butterfly so I might just ink that butterfly up slightly there because I might not be able to get to it once it's actually you know in place so I'll just ink that up a little bit there we go. And then just, just bend the wings up a little bit so it's got a bit of movement. And then I think just going to stitch through there. So again. Okay, and we take that one out. How gorgeous does that look? 
They're so pretty, aren't they? And again, just like those strips, they're so quick and so simple to do. I'm just gonna stand up and check that you can see. Um, they're so quick and so easy to do. But again, they're quite addictive. So um, yeah, if you're going to do some, be prepared because <laughs> you may end up being there for a long time doing them. They are very fun. So that's that one. Let's, let's do some more because um, <laughs> obviously I have bought along such a lot of stuff here. So I might just as well try and use some things up. Otherwise, what a, what a waste of time bringing so much stuff. So uh, let's get rid of these bits as I go. Try and be a little bit tidy. I haven't got a clue what way is the right way for this sheet music, obviously because I can't read music or anything. So I'm probably, you know, holding it completely upside down, but no, 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 no. Let's see what else I've got. Okay. So I have got an awful lot of stuff here with me. But again, you know, you bring along all this stuff and then find you still haven't got quite the piece that, you know, would have just been perfect. So let's just get a few of these bits and pieces out. See what else I've got. Okay, I've got a chicken there for some reason. <clears throat> I've got this girl. Now she's kind of cute on there. I'm not sure she quite goes, but... What else have I got? Let's have a look. I've got um, quite a few of my portraits here, my um, curator's collection portraits. The only thing is, I don't know whether I've got the smaller ones. I seem to mainly have those long ones, which is annoying because actually the smaller ones would have been just ideal for this. For this particular piece. Right, and now I can't see any. Oh, I've got her. Let's try her. Oh, she's not bad on there, is she? So, I'm, I mean, she's a bit torn at a strange angle, so I'm just going to um, tear her down a bit further. Oh, she's lovely on there, isn't she? Yeah, I do like her on there, so let me just see what else we want to put on here so again should we use another flower uh, no not that one well i guess we could use that's quite nice isn't it have i got a bigger one of those no honestly you just never have quite the right thing Oh, so I've got a small number here that's in a sort of pinky shade, so we could have that, I guess, tucking out behind. Right, let's just go for this. So what I'm going to do is just hopefully stitch, stitch all of that stuff down with that one sort of stitch going straight way through. Now my thread's caught up, honestly. This is why I'm just better off not doing sewing on video because, uh, <laughs> I mean, I always do say I'm no seamstress, but my gosh, sometimes it's worse than others. Right, okay. So that's her. Now I've got some, some lace here. I wonder if we could have that just hanging at the bottom. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Unfortunately, this is that lace that I dyed with the food colour, but it's not showing up that well as pink, which is a bit of a shame. So let me just try my ivory lace that I'm, you know, really using a lot of lately. Okay. Oops. Oh yeah, that's better, I think. So again, I'm just going to now go across straight at the bottom, you know, 
holding that lace in place, hopefully. So, I mean, obviously I'm going to just need to add a little dab of glue there to just hold that lace in place at that end, but isn't that gorgeous? You know, just like with those strips, you could just add, you know, a teeny bit of bling somewhere on these or, you know, anything else like a word or a Martha Stewart butterfly, something like that. You know, they'd all look really, really good. So let me put that to one side. Let's see what else I have got. So what other paper did I bring along? Oh, I've got some of my, my new um, tickets as well. So I might do a couple with those. And uh -huh. so I've got some more of this paper, which is the um, Victorian Floral Set 1. So let's just tear some of that round. So, I mean, obviously this, you know, you're just making kind of a base really with this, you know, this piece. So, I mean, it could be plain, it could be, you know, anything at all that you like. Mine just happens to be a flowery one. But, you know, you could use whatever takes your fancy. Okay, so I'm going to just do this ticket here. And these are just printed onto coffee dyed coffee. Uh, coffee dyed copy paper that's a bit of a tongue twister isn't it coffee dyed copy paper <laughs> okay so that's that one let me just get a piece of doily okay so I might just layer it up like this I think for this one. Oh my gosh that looks lovely already doesn't it yeah I mean just sometimes you put things together and just you know love them straight away and that's a bit how I feel with this, to be honest. So what I might do is, have I got a word or anything that I can just pop in there? I've got this, but mm, that's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, that's a little bit monstrous on there. So uh, have I got, yeah, that's probably, a, you know, a one too many colors. So let's have a look. Mm. Or, you know, one of my number tabs or something actually would maybe be okay. Oh, there we go. So I'm just going to ink this up because this is just on, you know, white card. So just ink it up so it looks a little bit more in keeping. There we go. I'm just going to place that there. Now what I'm going to do is run my stitch straight through like that and that will sort of, you know, capture it. Hopefully everything in there. And then just go back through. I do just like to do it twice because I think, well, I mean, A, it helps to hold it securely, but also, you know, I do like that sort of thick, thick line that it gives the thick line appearance. Oops. This is a really thick line because I have caught my thread into there, so it wasn't quite supposed to be that thick. Let me just cut that thread. Okay, well, I mean, I'll tidy this up, obviously, afterwards, but... Oh, I love that one. I think that's my favourite one. And I've not even put lace on there or anything, but that just looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah, really, really like that one. So, um, should we do another one with that? With the Victorian florals paper, because they're really nice, aren't they? Um, which, actually, I've got some more of those Victorian adverts from that book. So, let's see how one of those would look against this paper. So let's take that one. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, so these are Victorian adverts, you know, um, in book form. Again, let's, oh, let's just have some toilet. Doesn't that look lovely? So let's see if I've got a flower again that would just, just complement it quite well. Just having a look through. I mean, honestly, these flowers have been really fun to use. So um, I think I said during the lockdown, I actually finished dyeing all of them. So 
uh, well, I mean, I have got one more Hawaiian necklace actually hung up behind my desk, but I'm pretty much out of Hawaiian necklaces now. Um, I just made the most of kind of the sunshine and I just went out and, you know, did them all, dyed them all. And um, they're just so good to use because they do honestly look, you know, pretty good with lots of things, I must say. So what I might do with this one, it's one of my numbers and I'm just going to tear the price off where it said price and just so as I have that smaller piece there to work with. So otherwise it was obviously a little bit big for the, the shape here. But that now looks really good, doesn't it? And if I just move that up slightly and then just again, take my stitch straight through everything. Oops, oh gosh. Oh, come on. Struggling to uh, hold everything into place, right. And then straight the way back. Okay. Oops. And just trim that down. I mean, again, you know, obviously I will tidy these up, you know, the thread and things afterwards. But, I mean, isn't that pretty? And, you know, that's using those same papers. Oops. I thought, well, that's strange. I didn't, I didn't sew lace on that, but actually that lace did look pretty good behind it. So that's using the same background paper, i.e., you know, those Victorian florals. You know, as the same doily, sorry, I'm just standing up to check that I'm in frame. The same doily piece, and obviously just a different piece there and different flower and things. But, you know, they look really different, don't they? They have quite a different appearance, but the same concept and the same, you know, layering elements, um, but they give a really different appearance. So I really, really love them. So let's move them out of the way. So we've got one more piece. I mean, we possibly, you know, if, if we weren't using such, or if we weren't making such ginormous pieces, we would actually possibly have two pieces. But as you know, I can't really do tiny and dainty. I have to just do a big and clumsy. So um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just make one. So let's not use the doily this time. And let's use some book page. So decide which which side I want it. I'm going to ink up that book page first because um, you know I don't necessarily want to ink up the Victorian florals back background paper because it's already been coffee dyed. So I don't necessarily need to get it any darker than that. So we we'll just pop that there. And what should we pop on this one? Let's have a look. Uh, again, I wish that I had thought to bring some of my smaller portrait pieces because these are quite large. I mean, I could chop her down, but then she might be too small. Let me just see whether I've got anything more in here. Honestly, can you see how bulging this is? This is all the stuff that I have stored in my sort of canvas bag that I just carry around the house with me. So, you know, when we go down to watch TV, I take it downstairs with me. You know, if I go to my mum's, you know, for sort of a cup of tea, like, you know, and I'm going to be there for a couple of hours or a few hours, you know, I take it there with me. Um, yeah, it just kind of comes around everywhere with me, but um, I'm sure I'm not alone in that. Right, so that looks really nice, I think, on there. So I'm going to pop that on there and then just see if I've got any flowers that might just complement this. I mean, I have that, mm, I don't know, maybe not quite right. I've got this green one, I have that, I guess, hanging out. Or perhaps we'll go with out the flower. So pop that there. I have got some, you know, some fussy cut flowers we could have. That's quite nice, actually. Yep, that one's quite nice. Uh, what about a butterfly or something? Oh gosh, that just covered that up completely. So there was like nothing left to see, <laughs> except for just the giant butterfly. Uh, um, not sure about those, they're quite yellow. Let's see what else I've got. Well, I've got a pink, pink number, it's quite nice. 
Oh, come on, what else do I have here? Oh, I have a very pink butterfly. That's just way, way, way too pink. Definitely way too pink, that was. I got that. That's a bit too bluey grey. I mean, it's shocking, isn't it? Because you can have all these things, but still, you know, not quite, not quite the right piece. That's why, as crafters, we need so much stuff, isn't it? Because you can have all of this, but it's still not quite the piece you needed. Uh, oh, I don't know. I can't quite get it right. I have got a dictionary definition. I left that there. It's kind of strange, but do we think it's it's okay strange or is it a bit too strange? Too strange to use. I'm not sure. Mm. Perhaps we should have that kind of... No, that's even stranger still. Oh, what about there? Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Perhaps we'll have that. Okay, I'm going to go for that because otherwise I could just be here all day. So again, I'm just going to do that black stitch going right the way through there. Oops, and back. And then just trim that down. Okay, now shall we have some lace coming out of this one, I think. I don't think we've done much lace in this video, so that's unusual, isn't it? Unusual. Right. So maybe just sort of a bit of lace there like that. So I'm just going to go straight across the bottom like that. That hopefully is then just capturing the lace in the stitch. Okay. Take that out. Okay. There we go. So, oh, sorry, I did just knock the camera there. And every time I get off my chair, it squeaks. So I apologise for that noise as well. But. Aren't they lovely? I mean, as you can see, this has been printed on that glossy photo paper. So um, that's what that shine is, unfortunately. It's being picked up by the skylight. Um, but yeah, really, really fun, aren't they? So let me see what else I have here because um, it would be good to get rid of more stuff, to be honest, from the table. Well, I mean, it's not here generally on the table. I bought it down, obviously, for the purpose of the video, but... Let's just take this page here. Because again, I mean, this is just now a scrap. So, you know, I've already used it partially on something else. So it's really good to be able to clear your desk, isn't it? And, um, you know, get rid of stuff. So let's just bring in a bit more book page, I think. Like that. I don't know why I'm always drawn to put things, you know, this way round, but I don't know why that is, but very strange. Oh, I love the red of these flowers. It just looks awesome, doesn't it? So I might have to do that again. And I might be able to have that number two in there. So yeah, I'm just going to, again, ink this up. Okie dokie. So yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day. I don't know whether you've done some of those little stitched strips that we did last time, but um, they're really fun, aren't they? So yeah, I think you'll love these. If you loved those, you're going to love these too, so. And I mean, essentially all these are really is a cluster. So, I mean, if you haven't got a sewing machine and you want to do some like this, you can just do these with some glue. You know, there's no reason that you couldn't just do these with glue. I mean, actually the sewing, weirdly, is quicker than using glue. I know that sounds 
ironic really but um yeah they actually come together quicker than using the glue but I don't think you know I don't think they have to be stitched if you don't have a sewing machine I think they would turn out pretty nice just using some glue as well okay and should we have some lace on this one I think this would look quite good with some lace wouldn't it Trim that down. So, and I have got some um, black lace. I don't know whether the black would look quite striking on this one. Oh, I do always just feel very drawn to the black lace. It's just really nice, and it just adds something so, I guess, dramatic really to um, a piece. Really, so if you know, if I can, I do like using it. It just gives that extra something, doesn't it? Let me see whether I can manage to have it like that. <laughs> Is that really peculiar? I mean, once that was glued down, it wouldn't look so peculiar, I guess. I do quite like it all there. No, oh, I prefer it there. Isn't that strange? Sometimes just when you move something, you know, you can see instantly and think, oh no, Definitely the other way. And yet, when you first put it there, you might be in two minds and think, mm, not sure, not sure. But then you move it and straight away you think, oh yeah. So I'm just going to stitch this, but I'm going to try and stitch it not over the flower. So I'm going to move those petals out of the way. And then back along. I don't think I really caught the lace in there at all that time. Hopefully I did the first time. Who knows? Let's <laughs> just cut that off. Okay. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I'm just going to just cut that piece there because I didn't like that sort of triangular, you know, jaggedy edge. And the same here. You see where it's got that sort of pointy, pointy edge? Just trim that off. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that black lace. It's just so, so nice, isn't it? Right, let's put that to one side. Should we do a couple more? Let's do a couple more. I mean, they do all turn out pretty different looking, I think. So, um, you know, although it's the same old concept that we're doing, I think they do, you know, they do have quite a varied look. So let's use this as well, because again, this is just just a scrap now, you know, that I've sort of partially used for something and obviously haven't used this section. So again, I'm just going to have a bit of that book page, maybe here. Oops, oh, it's got an image there on the back. I haven't even noticed that. So let's put that there. Oh, I've just noticed I had a straight line, straight edge. I'm not over keen on straight edges, to be honest. So, well, sometimes they have their place, I guess, but um, yeah, generally I do prefer them torn. I'm just going to tear more of this down because I'm not overly wanting the uh, stem of the flower to show. So I have that there. Morning, sweetie. That's my son. He's just made his way downstairs. It's 12 o'clock now. <laughs> oh, to be young. To be young and um, off school for all these weeks. Okay. He's been up for a while, obviously, but he's been just on his phone um, talking to his friend, so. I'm not sure that that's quite the right piece actually for that. I thought it was going to look really good, but well, unless we have a, I wonder if we could have a contrast in flower. Mm, I don't know. Oh, that's quite nice actually. Yeah, that's quite nice. But what I think I would do is just ink this up. 
because I think that's part of the problem is this is looking very bright in comparison. So, because that other piece has been coffee dyed. So, you know, it's surprising the difference. If one piece has been coffee dyed and another piece hasn't, they can really look quite different. Um, and sometimes you can get away with it, I think, and sometimes you just can't. So that was just one of those, one of those moments where I felt that it didn't quite look right. <clears throat> okay, that's quite nice, isn't it? And I wonder if we could have a butterfly here. So again, let me just see what butterflies I have. Again, I'm trying this one again. Oh, it's quite nice, but it's covering up that whole flower. You can come in and get your breakfast, darling. What? You can come in and get your breakfast, sweetheart. Okay, you. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know whether he thought that he'd best not come in and get his breakfast, because I'm doing a video, but... I mean breakfast, it's 12 o'clock, like I say, but, you know, that's youngsters, isn't it? And hey, we were all young once, so it's fine, isn't it? There we go, that's quite nice. So, I mean, that butterfly, it's just poking out behind, you know, not sort of overly noticeable, I guess, but, but quite nice, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to just do it like that. Now, I just need to decide how best to try and capture everything in here. So, I think probably going up here, like that. and then go back through. <clears throat> like that. Okay. Well, I guess he'll be having a brunch, won't he? Because it's like a breakfast and lunch now, but... Okay. So, I mean, that looks really nice, doesn't it? And again, should we just finish that off with a bit of lace? So, should we try a bit of black again? The black is nice. Oh, that looks so nice on there. So let's just trim that down. Well, it, it looked like it did. I, I might change my mind when I actually put it there. But Oh yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? So again, what I'm going to do is just stitch that across. And again, I'm going to try and move those petals, I think, out of the way. I actually quite like it like that. So let's see if we can manage to like stitch it over and then under. So, oh, can I manage it? That's the question. And then along here a bit. Okay, and then take that out. Okay, there we go, trim that, trim that. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? So again, I'm just going to get rid of where I've got sort of a sharp edge there. I mean, not sharp as in it's going to hurt you, but I just don't like that angular look. So, and now I've just cut another one in, so there we go. It just softens it and it just looks completely different, I think, once you get rid of that sort of triangular look. It just makes the whole thing, you know, much softer and, and nicer. So, yeah, um, really, really fun to do. So, let me just check what the time is on the camera. Oh, gosh, I can't actually see properly without getting right up on my stool. Okay, we're at 40 minutes, so we might have time to do another one or two. So, let's just... Just have a look and see what else I've got left. <clears throat> okay, well, I've got this tiny scrap, and again, I've been hoarding this for like ages. Like, why have I been hoarding this? I have no idea. No idea at all. Right, let's move that. Okay, what should we have on here? Let's have a look and see what we've got. I mean, I'm kneeling up on my stool. Um, but yeah, every now and then I obviously have to look at the camera and honestly, I literally have to kneel up completely on the stool to be able to see the camera. I'm just wondering whether we should have one with this girl. She is very cute, isn't she? So 
again, let me just bring in that piece of paper so that I can ink stuff. So she, I think, is coffee dyed, yep. This piece is not, so again, I'm just going to ink around there. I mean, like I say, I think sometimes you can get away with it, um, you know, and it doesn't kind of stand out like a sore thumb. Other times you can't, so um, no rhyme or reason as to, you know, when and why that would be, but you can just ink it. If it's standing out like a sore thumb, you can just ink it up. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. And then have I got anything that would look pretty with her? I mean, that's quite cute, that flower, isn't it? Got some butterflies. Again, that's very bright there, I think. So, how about that look at butterfly? That's kind of nice. Let me just see what it looks like inked up. I've just now dipped my finger straight in the ink instead of the brush. Well, I have to say, I've not made much of a dent in the huge pile of stuff that I brought along, you know, thinking, oh, I'll, I'll just make sure I've got enough stuff so as we have a variety of things to work with. Yep, I've, um, I've still got a ton of it left, so clearly I did not need half what we brought along, but always better to have too much choice than not enough, isn't it? Right, let's have a look and see what else I've got in here. Ah, I have some brighter coloured flowers here from my dyeing in the garden. Look at that gorgeous colour green, and that just matches her dress perfectly, doesn't it? So let's see how that would look. Oh, if we have that tucked behind her. What do you think? Have we lost that that is even a flower? Does it just look like something weird poking out? Or is it actually quite nice? Oh, I think it's quite nice, actually. So again, I'm just going to go whoops, straight across where that butterfly is, I think. So hopefully kind of capturing, you know, a bit of the petal of the flower, a bit of the butterfly, and obviously a bit of the girl. Oh, and a bit of the doily. I forgot how much stuff we had tucked under there, actually. So we just trim that down. Like that that okay so that's really nice and then just deciding where else to do a stitch maybe across here or to be fair we could maybe just glue this now so she's in place I'm just going to now just glue everything down because actually I'm not sure she wants another stitch on there I think she looks quite nice not stitched so let's just just glue her instead. Okay. Oh, she is so cute, isn't she? So again, I'm just going to glue this down a bit like that. And then there. Okay. Really nice, huh? Okay. Let me just put my pin in my glue. Right, and we've probably got time for one more, I think. So that's her. And then in a minute, we'll have a look at all the ones that we've made. So I think they're all looking quite different. I think we've, you know, we've achieved quite a few, you know, quite varied ones, which is great. Because obviously that's what it's all about, isn't it? Uh, what other paper have I got here? Aha, uh -huh. got some more of my florals. So let's again, just take a little piece. I mean, I say little, it's not that big. It's uh, not that little, is it? It's like, it's like a UFO kind of um, great big, great big UFO size thing. Right. So. Oh, do you know that was just over that butterfly, exactly where that butterfly was. And I thought, oh, that's strange, look. And yeah, it, it wasn't it at all. So, um, right. Have I got any more of those adverts? I don't think I have. Oh, that's a shame. I thought I've bought several of those along. But obviously not. Unless it's kind of slid under stuff. Right, I can't see any more. Oh, what a shame. Because an advert would have looked really good on here. These look quite good on there, actually. 
Again, this has been coffee dyed, this has not. So just going to drink this up. Again, this is where that um, stains by Patricia, um, the Patty Pockets stains product. This is where that would be quite good um, because you could just stains this little one here. Unfortunately, mine is upstairs, so I won't be able to be using that right now, but you know, I could use that a bit later. So, because that's the beauty of that, you know, you could literally just dip your finger in and just go over this one piece and it works brilliantly. I quite like that, like that. Um, and shall we have a bit of doily coming out as well? Don't want to cover up the um, the pretty paper completely, but it seems unavoidable, I think. So like that, I have got some green flowers, which, you know, would maybe just finish that off quite nicely. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is run a stitch again straight through here. So like that. on this one it's always good to have a bit of lace isn't it so just cut down a tiny piece just snip that off here using that sort of snip snip tear method and then just have that there I think with the flower that's so pretty isn't it and then I just want something for the middle of the flower. So whether it's a word or whether it's, you know, a little number, um, you know, I mean, I don't really mind which, which it is, but just needs something in there, I think. So to be fair, I could probably even use a vintage postage stamp if I've got some. Uh, have I got some? Yeah, I do have. I thought I did, but you know what it's like. As soon as you come to look for things, they have disappeared. So, let's have a look. Can you see how much stuff that I literally brought along for this video? I mean, how much stuff did I think I was going to, to make in the course of an hour? It's crazy. Crazy. Right, I love this stamp, I have to say. I know I'm always saying, gosh, I never saw myself as a stamp collector, but isn't that lovely? Gorgeous, isn't it? I think that's like a thatched thatched roof on that property I don't know whether you can see it but such a pretty stamp and actually to be honest not only am I now inclined to hoard it no I'm joking I will I will use it but it's actually a little bit too big for here so I'm going to just use this one the number four so um just balance that stuff on the edge and then just go across here Hopefully going through the stamp and the flower and the lace like that and then turn it around and just go back like that. And again, you know, obviously I can now just go over this with a little bit of glue just behind this main image that would, you know, just then secure that to that. Piece. So obviously I will kind of do that in slow time. I will just go over all the ones that we've made and just if any need a bit of blue, you know, anywhere or, you know, if they need inking up, then I can just do that. So let's have a look at the ones that we've made. So I don't have a clean sheet of paper. Oh, I, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay. So we've got this one. I'm struggling now to see which one is my favourite, actually. I think it might have to be this one now because, um, yeah, I really, really love that. So we've done that one, this one. I mean, we've really got some different looking ones, haven't we? These were my ones that I'd done originally. Had I done that one originally? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think those are my ones that I had done before the video. And these are the ones that we've just done 
just now. To be honest, yeah, I really do like a lot of them. I'm not sure quite which one's my favourite. I have to say I'm kind of thinking this is my favourite. I really, really like it. But I do equally really love this one. So, yeah, anyway. Um, so no doubt I will now go on to hoard those because that's, you know, that's just a danger really, isn't it, of when you make things that you're going to then not want to part with them. Um, so yeah, I hope that you have fun if you decide to do some of these. As I say, they're pretty addictive. So have a, you know, have a fun time. And um, yeah, I hope that you'll join me again soon. And thanks very much for watching. Be safe, everyone. Thanks. Bye.